Hi, now before we really get into um, the details in, about writing a screenplay, I should go over screenplay and screenwriting terminology, uh, just so you know some of the terms and definitions that we're going to be talking about here. Um, I'm going to do this in alphabetical order in case you're writing this down feverishly so you can kind of have it organized already. Um, and the first word is action, which is pretty self-explanatory. That's the section of the script that describes any actions that are taking place that you see on screen. So if somebody's walking into a room, if people are shuffling or fighting, it's that section of uh, the screenplay that describes the physical things that are going on in the screenplay. Um, also, action can be used when they're shooting a film as well. They'll say action when they want to start um, the actors rolling on a scene, but for us it's really that section of, um, of text. Uh, the next word that we're going to talk about is copyright. And this is what you do after you finish your script. Um, you basically send it to the U.S. Uh, government. They have a copyright office that registers your script and files it away, and it serves as a certif uh, certification that this is your project and kind of has when it was written and things like that. And this is for legal protection. Um, development is another term that you'll hear a lot and there are two definitions for this. Development is what you do with the script after you finish the first draft. You usually get notes, um, you keep working on it, you develop it and develop it. Um, and development also happens a lot of times when a script gets picked up by a studio. Um, they'll develop it more which means that every executive at, this, at the studio will come in and give notes and they'll often be contradictory but that's a whole other, other story. Um, but they'll give notes on the script and try to get it to the point where it's ready to be filmed. Um, dialogue, again, is a pretty self-explanatory word. That's the section of the script that actually has the words that the actors are going to be saying. Um, so you're literally writing the words that are coming out of their mouths. Um, an establishing shot is a shot that's taken when you're going to a location for the first time. So if it's New York City and you want to establish this New York City, you write an establishing shot that will maybe show Times Square or show Central Park, something that's iconic for New York so you know where you're at. Um, an exterior shot is a shot that takes place outside, um, and even though it's not alphabetical, an interior shot is obviously a shot that takes place inside a location, like inside a house or inside a bedroom. Um, most scripts start with the words fade in, which is basically you're at a movie theater, the screen goes black for a second, and then you fade into the story. So that's the first words that will appear on your screenplay. Um, and fade out are the last words on your screenplay because that's when when they're reading, it's kind of, they think of it, kind of the story going to black and fading out. Um, a log line is very important. A log line for a script is basically, it's not just a line. It's usually like one, two, or three lines that kind of, you know, sum up your whole script. And kind of the uh, screenwriting logic is if you can't sum up your script in like two to three lines, you, you might have too much going on and you might have to rethink some of your writing. But this is so that an executive, if they're looking through a list of all these scripts that they have, they can read the logline and see which one really appeals to them and jumps out at them. So you, a logline is very important. 